Welcome back to Intibles, everyone. So I'm going to go down to you guys in the S&P 500. Again, this is The Spy. We had Powell speaking on Wednesday at the FOMC, mentioning that we are going to have a restrictive policy rather than a neutral policy from our prior FOMC that he did mention. And as you guys can see, getting a wick to the downside at lows of the year. As we are getting this rejection of the downside, could we have a bounce? Could we possibly bounce back? What exactly are we looking for to the downside to happen? Again, after Powell at the FOMC mentioning restrictive policy, we got an engulfing candle to the downside. And as you guys can see, continuing on lower. So our question is, can we bounce? back now before i jump into this if you guys can do me a huge favor if you find this video useful at all smash that like button hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts or market updates that i mention every single day throughout the week and if you guys are day traders or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables room if you guys did see gsun at the end of the day that was just crazy breakout at the end of the day i hope you guys did see that in the instables room insane breakout but again these are the type of breakouts that we mentioned every single day in the instables room um and again that was just a lot more volatile than usual but again GSUN. If you guys do want to look at that stock, that was an amazing major breakout that we mentioned earlier at about up about 60%, jumped up over 150% at the end of the day. Again, if you want to see these major breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spot, as you guys can see, again, after getting an engulfing candle to Jerome Powell mentioning that we're going to have a restrictive policy rather than neutral that he mentioned in our prior FOMC meeting. And as you guys can see, a follow through on this engulfing candle, again, about a 90% ratio on that continuation on engulfing candles, especially when we are testing key levels that, as you guys can see, we were testing our 20 crossing below our 50 that we have not had happen in quite a while as the feds were extremely hawkish. A very good reason for us to have a rejection at our 20 doing average that we did mention in the intervals room. Again, this is after we did get a rejection with our CPI that we had from last Wednesday. Again, last Wednesday, our CPI came out at 8.3. Our expectation was at 8.1 and we did get a higher CPI than expected at 8.3. Again, lower than our prior CPI at 8.5. However, higher than expected at 8.1. So we did have a major sell-off as well, dropping below our 20 to moving average, getting a rejection. And as you guys can see, again, getting wicks to the upside. Now with that wick to the downside that we have here at lows of the year, can we bounce here? As you guys can see on our MACD, again, representing our strength, we have an increasing with solid red bars here showing us that increase in sell pressure. We have been looking for that decrease in sell pressure to show us those early signals on that possible shift of momentum. Again, we do have our 12 email that is curling down. We still have our email lines curling down showing us that we do still have momentum to the downside. In my opinion, if we do get a continuation on white shitty lines, we could be looking for email lines to possibly cross back up from there. That is our early signals for our email lines to possibly give us that pivot here. Again, our email lines, again, our 12 crossing back over our 26 here, looking to see if we can continue on above the median for MACD to get that ultimate strength here for now we are pointing down we are going to stay cautious as far as playing to the upside however again with that wick to the downside i definitely would be careful just playing to the downside because i would want to see some type of bearer setup from here again with the wick to the downside we want to see some type of wick to the upside some type of possible inverted hammer to come out here possibly a rejection to the upside that we would be looking for in my opinion if we are looking for that continuation on lower we do want to see at least a wick to the upside some type of rejection to the upside that we are rejecting at least our 370 level that we did just continue on below that we did mention from yesterday Again, our 370 level was our last level that we had mentioned that we were looking to see if we can continue on lower from intraday. And sure enough, we did. Again, that confirmation, in my opinion, would be when we do get that engulfing continuation to the downside. Again, that is our early signal for that possible rejection to the upside to get confirmation on an engulfing candle to the downside. That would be a possible uh, bearer setup from here if our 20 day moving average was again at this point. But again, if we do possibly bounce back we possibly get a green candle within our gap down that we had again overnight our gap down that we had as you guys can see we do have possible room that we could possibly get a green candle doji candle coming out and then possibly continue on lower from there with that inverted hammer we will see exactly where we open on monday we want to see exactly what kind of open we do have to the downside this is how i'll be looking for it is for that possible confirmation to see if we can again get those rejections to the upside and then get that possible engulfing candle with that strong push of the downside is what i'll be looking for in my opinion that's exactly what would possibly happen um if we're looking for that strength of the downside now as far as playing to the upside Again, what we're looking for is that decrease in sell pressure to the downside. We want to see, again, white shaded lines coming in. A continuation on our white shaded lines is our early signals, again, for that possible pivot with our 12 and 26 EMA. And looking for more confirmation on our relative strength, as you guys can see, again, jumping into oversold territory. We just got into oversold territory. So in my opinion, we still have room to run into the downside. 
Um, if we do get a possible rejection to the downside, in my opinion, we would want to see some type of divergence to start to build here. Um, we want to see higher lows as we are oversold and then get confirmation jumping out of oversold territory after we have divergence. If we jump out of oversold territory before we have divergence, then we could have more room to the downside still. So again, looking for divergence, making sure we do get lower highs on our price action as we get higher lows as we are oversold is going to be that divergent and move to the upside that we'd be looking for as far as that bullish move. Again, we do have that wick to the downside here. Your question may be, should I just go um, with a short-term play to the upside? If you are playing to the upside, in my opinion, with our 20-day moving average curling down, I definitely just would consider that we don't have a ton of room to run to the upside. As again, we do have our possible rejection with our 20 crossing down here. If we are looking for a bullish setup as far as continuing on higher with a reversal, we do want to see if we can at least get back above our close that we had after this engulfing candle. In my opinion, again, that is around that 377 level. I want to see if we can at least get back above it to see if we can possibly come back above our 20 to wing average and start to respect it to the upside and look for a bullish setup from there possibly um, get a large engulfing candle to the upside and then look for a better setup as we could possibly come back lower get a rejection of the downside maybe we flush back lower and we possibly have a rejection here and then we look for a possible um, engulfing candle from here looking to see if we can respect our 20 day moving average to the upside that would be a shorter term play again for that continuation we're looking for our 20 day moving average to cross back over our 50 ultimately and then continue to respect it and continue on higher again that would be that continuation if we are playing swings in my opinion so again that's what we'd be looking for as far as playing to the upside and again i'm going to go over the market with you guys on sunday and exactly how i would play into it again based on any economic news that we get over the weekend could change exactly how we would play into it as you guys can see again back on the monthly chart i wanted to make sure we did cover this as you guys can see we are still not testing our 50 day moving average as you guys can see when we did have our covid pandemic we did test our 50 day moving average we did bounce off of it and we did have that confirmation with our weight to the downside and as you guys can see, also with a green body of our candle continuing on lower with a green body of our candle to the downside. And then as you guys can see, respecting our 20 moving average continuing back higher. So again, that's what we're looking for ultimately to show that we are bouncing back in the market. Till then, we need to make sure we are staying cautious since we are sitting on the lower end of this candle on our monthly chart. Again, this is around three fourths of this candle being built out because we are still within the month of September. So again, this candle could possibly turn into a doji candle, possibly reject the downside and possibly still test the upper end of our 20 moving average to possibly continue on lower. So again, that would be that possible bullish move um, and possible continuation on lower that would possibly happen if we did have a bounce for the next week. Again, if we continue on higher above 377, possibly continue on above our 20 moving average on our daily chart, we would be testing our 20 day moving average on our monthly chart to possibly continue on lower. We are not testing our 50 day moving average, in my opinion. We still do need to test it. And just as importantly, looking at our weekly chart, as you guys can see, we are getting engulfing candles to the downside on our weekly chart. We are continuing on lower, as you guys can see. And we are not testing our 200 day moving average as we did prior when we did have again our COVID pandemic. So again, we did get confirmation on this continuation on higher, showing us that we were going to bounce back over with our engulfing candle to the upside here. So again, as you guys can see, we did continue on higher as we had our 20 crossing back over our 50. So again, just keeping that in mind on the weekly chart and on the monthly chart that we still possibly have room to run to the downside. And again, we do have this wick to the downside. I would be careful playing to the downside just to play to the downside for no given reason. I definitely would be careful as the last few days you could have played almost with no thought, just knowing that it was going to continue on lower after our engulfing candle. But now that we are testing lows of the year with the wick to the downside, we did make sure we do get confirmation on that continuation on lower. That confirmation very much could be a possible engulfing candle going into Monday. Again, that possible confirmation might just be a giant wick to the upside again that rejection to the upside with that continuation on lower and then that engulfing candle the next day on tuesday so again just keeping an eye on this we're going to see exactly what happens now again with all of that said if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break alert today again and all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel just taking what the market gives us again as we do in the instables room making sure we are staying cautious when we need to stay cautious and going after plays when we need to go after plays. But for now, again, sitting on a gap down after this FOMC, very much anticipated throughout the week. After our CPI, we very much were anticipating this to happen as we got a lower CPI than expected. So again, we will stay patient and let the momentum come to us. And I hope you guys do have a blessed weekend. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.